Hi guys. So after making a video about the Travancore Sock, I thought I'd do another one about the Barbarian. This time it's more about um, learning from my mistakes. And if you're watching this, maybe you can learn from them too. So I recorded a bunch of runs and some of them go well, but most of them are kind of messy. So I was trying to, I wanted to analyze them and see how I can do better. Um, what I did is I skipped through the video and took note of how fast each run was and yeah, let's see why others were slower. So the first run I think it's 26 seconds or so, it's very fast for my standards. Um, so apparently things go right here. Um, map is is pretty good they're all very close together the thing is torque is a little bit to the north so <clears throat> my strategy normally is to land somewhere near him so that i uh, can whirl him down first and then i kind of zigzag down and start hawking from here and then i teleport back here to uh, check some blind spots where i don't see all the items are dropped and then i go back to the to the waypoint now Thing is, I need to land somewhere here where I am, <clears throat> because if I, am I if I'm a little bit too far to the top, then the Merc will hit him, and Decrepify will trigger around him only. But I wanted to hit other monsters as well while I'm zigzagging down, so I can't go too far to the top. And also, if I'm um, landing too far to the top, he tends to go to the left, which is bad. On the other hand, if I land too far to the right, then these guys tend to wander off around the bottom here, which is also bad. So, I don't know. I mean, my tactic is to, um, well, like this way, or sometimes this way, and then this way. And that seems to uh, make them stick together. So you see the Decrepify hits everything, <clears throat> which is good. Those are the blind spots that I wanted to show. Yeah, so that's a good run. Now the next one is 31 seconds. Let's see why that is. Five seconds longer. Start is okay. Yeah, they're spreading all a little bit. It happens sometimes. I don't think I made a mistake there. It's just sometimes they don't stick together. Next one is 32 seconds, it's also a bit slow. Okay, one guy is wandering off. Normally, sometimes they come back, she almost came back. I was a little bit slow on picking up the RAL there as well. Obviously, if you pick things up, it's going to be a little slower, but you do want to, <laughs> you do want to pick something, so that's how it is. This one is 32, it's a mana burn one. Oh, by the way, I bought mana burn. <clears throat> I didn't use anything like double swing or something. I don't know, some people use it, I don't really see a point, because if, you, um, if you're mana burn, so right now I can't use woven, but if I right click on, on a minion, it's going to use standard attack, which deals still quite some physical damage. And it fills up your mana if you have leech, and then you can just uh, continue whirl whirling. I find it much more convenient than switching skills and using double swing, to be honest. I don't know if it works well in this run, but generally I'm um, very happy with that tactic. That's a little low the health there, so it was kind of a close one. Yeah, it was a bit, a bit messy. Bitch. This one's 26, so it's fast again. Still a mana burning pack again. But you can see it's not really an issue, right? So this, this run is very fast. 26 seconds, from my standards at least. So mana burn doesn't necessarily affect run times in a bad way. Next one is 
31 seconds, let's do that. I think I whirled a little bit too long near torque there. And one guy is stone skin or physical immune, so that... I'm a bit unlucky here because I was... Um, I have half freeze duration on one of my rings. It's a great tip that I included, it's really neat. Which means I can zerk him down quickly normally, but this guy here, he cast Blizzard, so I was chilled nonetheless, which is unfortunate. Oh, it happens. This one is 32, I think. Mana burn, and they're a bit spread out. Well, this is really messy. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong there, to be honest. Let's see, rewind a little. What makes him, ah, it just runs off. I mean, sometimes you can't do nothing about it. In the lower part here, they just ran off, even though I didn't well where I'm not supposed to. I was a bit slow on switching weapons and starting to hawk there, it's also a mistake. This one's 30 seconds. Nothing wrong with that. <coughs> See, now I was unfrozen, which is really convenient when you zerk him down in the end. I guess maybe it just takes around 30 seconds with my gear at least to... Um, maybe I can't go any faster without um, higher damage if one of them rolls stone skin or a physical immune. So this one is 30 seconds as well. One of the guys got a little bit away, it's unfortunate. Maybe one second lost there. Well, I guess 30 seconds is okay. It's kind of a longish run. This one's 31. Whirling phase went fine. Uh, one stone skin again. Nothing to do about it. Messed up the extended teleport there a little bit. This one's fast again, 27. I guess they were just standing perfectly in my whirlwind, so sometimes things go right <laughs> for a change. This one's 31, four seconds longer. Now you see Torque didn't drop as fast as I'd like him to there, otherwise it's fine. I think uh, I lost one or two seconds there trying to pick up that small charm. Because the display changed when I hawked once more. This one is 35. It's pretty long. That's a big screw up with the whirlwind there. <laughs> yeah, if I, if I accidentally click here with the whirlwind, he's gonna do like a curve thing. Which is terrible, of course. And a stone skin one, okay. Oh, immune. Well, sometimes things just don't go right at all. This is the last one or second to last? Not sure. <coughs> 30 seconds. 
Now there I whirled a little bit. I should have gone more. I think I went like this around torque, but I should have gone like this, the way they were standing. And there are two bosses left. I, I stopped whirlwinding too early there. There shouldn't be two bosses left alive. This one, 33 seconds is this one. Last one, this is the last one, it's 30 seconds. I'd decrep if I didn't trigger there. Yeah, one of them got away a little bit, but like I said, that can't really be always avoid it long term. I think that's all the runs. So I don't know, I mean, I think basically it's both whirlwinding and being slow on the hawk sometimes and losing time not picking up things efficiently. That's about it. I think you have the gear in the end as well. Let's go through that quickly. So I'm using uh, two Hotos on Switch, which means with Eric and Mesh and one FCRing, I get um, 105, uh, 110 FCR actually being on the 105 breakpoint. And I do use one Warcry war skiller, which means I um, get 56% Hawk um, out of those two Hotos. So that's why I use those. Grief face blades. Those are my best ones. You know, I can't really uh, up the damage much more with. Uh, um, with the gear I have, which I think is the main reason why why he can't um, run any faster. I mean, instead of Ariads, I could use um, Guillaume's face. Um, I, I might try to do that actually. I, I would need to take care of resists mostly and uh, respec him because I'm, I'm, I need the twenty decks from Ariads right now to to wear those creeps. Um, but I might fool around with Guillaume's face. Some gear reshuffle would be required, but might be worth it. High Lords, Enigma, War Traveler. So Gorse is obviously an option, but really um, the damage here is quite good, actually. The 15 to 25 damage. And the Magic Find is very helpful, so um, rather stick to those. That's the ring. The half freeze duration is really a neat uh, tweak, as I said. It helps a lot with stone skin bosses and physical immunes. Some double Litra. Uh, which is enough in my opinion. Um, I don't feel I need any more mana or life leech uh, than this ring and Ariads combined. Bang of hands, Geats, one Warcraft skiller and the rest is 10 uh, Maxus, Sharp Charms, some resists. And um, typical Merc setup with um, increased attack speed and resist socketed. So my build currently has um, quite a few points. All the leftover points go to Berserk in my case. Um, I'm thinking about if I switch to Guillaume's, maybe I'll put some in natural resist or something. Uh, could be worth it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Well, I guess I have a few ideas of what I can uh, do to improve. Back to the drawing board.